Here we are at Patch School of Wizardry Mathematics. Today we're going to continue with Rod Match. We're only going to do tens. We have two pages of them, and then you have your assessment for all the matching we've done. You should easily go through the matching one. Now, 10 is the hardest one to do, or the easiest one to do. Anyway, it's going to be fun doing it with you. We're going to choose five on this page. It's Cuisinaire time. I'm going to introduce to you Cuisinaires every time and every segment. Now, you have 74 pieces inside the box that you have. And we're going to start with one. The universal number one. White, the universal number, is one. Red is two. Light green is three. Purple is four. Yellow is five. Dark green is six. Now let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's do it in color. White, red, light green, purple, yellow, dark green. Okay. Let's go to black. Black is seven. It's longer than the rest, isn't it? Now we go to eight. Eight is brown. It's even longer. You notice the pattern. Nine is blue. And the last Cuisinaire rod is 10. Orange. Let's go through it. White, red, light green, purple, yellow, dark green, black, brown, blue, orange. And let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. Those are the Cuisinaire rods that you're going to need to work with. Okay, Patch Junior Wizards. Today we're going to be doing the mantra, as we will every day. Now, here we go. W is for white. White equals 1. R is for red. Red equals 2. G is for light green. Light green equals 3. P is for purple. Purple equals 4. Y is for yellow. Yellow equals 5. D is for dark green. Dark green equals 6. K is for black. And black equals 7. N is for brown. Brown equals 8. E is for blue. Blue equals 9. O is for orange. Orange equals 10. Nice job. I need you to do that. Fantastic. Well, boys and girls, junior wizards, we're going to go do the codes. And I'm going to show you them in front of you right now. You have them on page 7 in your workbook. But I like to review the codes every single time. W is for white. R is for red. G is for light green. P is for purple. Y is for yellow. D is for dark green. K is for black. N is for brown. E is for blue. And the last one, O is for orange. Now let's go through it backwards. O is for orange. E is for blue. N is for brown. K is for black. D is for dark green. Y is for yellow. P is for purple. G is for light green, R is for red, and W is for white. There you go, the codes. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to use the paddles. All you junior wizards out there. 
Now I'm going to show you a number and you're going to have to tell me the color. That's the first part. You ready? One. What color? White. Good. Two. What color? Red. Perfect. What color? Light green. Three. Good. This is four. What color is it? Purple. Excellent. Yellow. Five. Look at it again. Yellow five. Six is what color? Dark green. Good. Seven is black. Say it again. Seven is black. Eight is what color? Brown. One more time. Brown. Nine. Blue, excellent. And we have one more. 10, what color's 10? Orange, fantastic. Now I'm gonna do one other thing with you as I will do every day. What is the code for one? W, what's the code for red? R, what is the code for light green? G, what is the code for purple? P, what is the code for yellow? Y, what is the code for dark green? D, what is the code for black? K, what is the code for brown, N, very good. What is the code for blue, E, good going. Last one, what's the code for orange, O. There you go, we worked on the code today, we worked on the numbers, studied them, reviewed them, thank you. Today, boys and girls, we're gonna work with train. We work every day with using trains. Now, we're going to start with a four, which is purple, P. Here we go. There is a four. Now, you can also do a three and a one. There that is. A two and a two. And notice how I'm putting them in. A four, a three and a one, a two and a two. Great. Now we're going, I want you to fill them all up, all the way to the very top. Now let's go to five. And here we are with fives. Notice the five is already in there and it can't be on the sides. Not like this. This doesn't work. That doesn't work. Now this is how it's supposed to look. Look at it. Super. Now we're going to work on it as if it was like the fours, but it's a five. I'm going to go now with my magic wand and make five. Four and one is five. What else can we do? Three and two is five. Aha! But there's a trick to this. You have three and a two. You can also do three and a two. And now we have it. They look different, don't they? Take a look. We have a red and a light green. And we have a light green and a red. Now you're going to fill them all the way to the top with fives, sets of fives. Can you do that? Let's go to sixes. Here is a six. Notice how we put it in. Now, let's make sets of six. A five and a one make six, just like we have on the bottom. Five and one, or a yellow and a white. Now we're going to make six using dark or light green. First light green, second light green, and they equal six. See how perfectly they fit? Okay, let's try another one. Two, four, six. There we have it, two, four, six, three reds. Everything equals six. You have the solid six, a yellow and a one, a light green and light green, a red, red and a red. 
6 is all the way to the top. Okay? Let's go to 7. And now we're on to 7s, black. Take a look at how I have it. And I'm going to use a dark green and a 1. There's a dark green and a 1, and they equal 7. Pretty easy. Let's take a yellow, red. Yellow and red equals 7. Now let's try a trick with my magic wand. We're going to turn it around. Red, now yellow. We reversed it. Different, but the same. Can you do that? Now we're also going to go, I want to show you one more pattern. Here we go. Purple, light green. And what do they equal? Seven. Okay. Fill up the tra train all the way to the top. Now, we're going to go to eight. What color is eight? Brown. Okay. Now we're going to use a brown one. I'm going to make it magically appear right here. There's our eight. And what are sets of eight? Well, let's take a look at a purple. And a purple. That also equals eight. Four and four is eight. Okay, let's now take a look at another one. Five. Hmm, what does five go with? A three, light green. And it keeps going like that all the way through it. Let's do one more. Six and a two. And you can do that too, six and a two. Brown, purple, purple, yellow, light green, dark green, red. Fantastic. Let's move on. Now don't forget to fill it all the way to the top. Okay, let's go on to blue. There, I just put a blue Cuisinaire rod in. Now, let's make more nines. Seven. And a two. Seven and two equals nine. Now let's go use an eight. And a one. Makes it nine. Let's try one more. A five and a four. Five and a four, yellow and purple, equals nine. Eight and one is nine. Seven and two is nine. And of course, blue is nine. Are we going to go on to the next one? I want you to fill this all up. And I want you now to let's take a look at 10. O for orange. Notice how I put the 10 in there, the long way. Great. Now let's take a look at how we make sets of 10. You can fill this up, oh yeah, all the way to the top. A 5 and a 5. 10. 8. 2. 10. Now let's get creative. 3. 3. 3 and one. Ten. Look at how many different ways we can write ten. Now it's your job to go all the way to the top. That's it today. I want you to use these every single day and it will make you smarter. So we're going to have five sets of ten. So I can use, actually use my little one or the big one. But we're going to use the longer meter stick. Not longer meter stick, a meter stick that goes all the way from one centimeter to a hundred centimeters. And we're, it goes right along one to a hundred. Are you ready to go? Start with me. Here we go. We're going to do five sets of ten. We're going to start off with a ten. And you know from our last lesson, or lesson, we can make different tens, different ways. And that's what we have to do. Now I need a five, and another five, That's one set, that's two sets. Now I'm going to make the third set. I'm going to use another 10. Now I can use another 10, but I want to make it other way. I want to use a purple and a dark green. That's four sets, one set, two set, three sets, four sets, and we have one more, and I need a five. How about a three and a two for a five? 
Now we're really getting creative. A three and a two. Now we have one more set, one, not one more, to complete it. And for that one, I'm going to use a five. Now let's talk about the sets. One set of 10, two sets of 10, three sets of 10, four sets of 10, five sets of 10. And we used yellows and dark greens and light greens and reds. I don't know if I mentioned purples, but we use that. That's how we work with numbers. Remember, you can make smaller numbers into bigger numbers by how many you put together. Now let's go. I'm going to show you on my stick how it really looks. There's one set of 10. There's the second set of 10. Two sets of 10. Three sets of 10 is 30. Four sets of 10 is 40. Five sets of 10 is 50. If you have 50, you've done it. You've come a long way since we started this. And notice how many different cuisinaires we used to make the right answer. So there's no real right answer on what kind of Cuisinier rods you can use, but they all have to be tens. Here's one set of 10, two sets of 10, three sets, four sets, five sets. Fantastic. Tracy's already colored it in. She's headed again. She really wants those wizardry wings, I can tell you. Now, let's turn the page and we're going to do the top one, six. Woo! Six sets of 10. I'm going to take these off. You might know, the older group might know six sets of 10. But we always have to check our work and check how we're thinking. All of us can make a mistake in thinking. But when you put it down on the track, that's where we find our answers. So let's start one set of 10 and two sets of 10. Three sets of 10. Four sets of 10. Make sure you're standing in the lines. Five sets of 10. And let's get creative. We haven't used a black one yet. So I use a seven. And how many squares are open? Three. Light green. One set, two set, three set, four set, five set, six sets. It's fun, isn't it? How creative can you be? And yours isn't going to look exactly like mine. Yours is going to look different because you can use the different ones. Here's two sets of 10. Three sets of 10. Four sets of 10. Five sets of 10. Six sets of 10. And your answer is 60. Can you Oh, 60. That's your answer. And look how we got it. We only used two of the Cuisinaire 10s. The rest we made up. Fantastic job. I know you can do it. Color, code, number. I'm going to do something with you haven't done on the others. Let's talk about the code. O, Y, G, R, O, D, P, K, G, Y, Y. You should be able to do that by now. And then you should go 10, 5, 3, 2, 10, 6, 4, 7, 3, Five, five. 
color code and number. You've got it. And that's as far as we're going to go today using sets of 10. It's going to take you a while. Have a great day.